I was always a Hawthorne supporter, but come late, sort of in my, you know, my teens when I before I got drafted for a couple of years, you know, I had my stepdad who went for Collingwood, so I had this sort of soft spot for Collingwood, and I thought, well, I knew their facilities. I'd, I'd been shown through them when I was at the Northern Knights, and I thought, you know, this, this is somewhere I want to be. And then come draft day to, to hear on the radio and, and to be there with my stepdad who had been supporting me throughout my whole football career was a great way to, to really um, to get drafted and and it's it, it was just a whirlwind experience and it, one one minute I'm you know local footy and the next minute I'm playing in in the AFL. Hope in his heart, dreams in his head. Jack Anthony, he's done it. I think it was a build up of um, all the hard work that I've done over the, the, the previous three or four years and then for Mick to have faith in me in the last half of two, 2008 and, and then to, to, to bring that form into 2009 and to have that successful year that I had, it was it was hard not to continue on with that. I relive it in my mind but I don't, you know, I don't pin my hopes and my dreams on just that one year that I had, it was an experience that was for um, for the better for the better word just fantastic I suppose it was it was something that I really enjoyed and I would love to relive it again but you know you just never know what's gonna happen in the future. Looked like he wasn't sure oh. what to do the goal umpire almost went down and he's on but it's a goal. It wasn't a hard decision for me to come back from, from uh, Perth. Perth's a beautiful place but like anywhere if you move away from your family and your friends you have to enjoy what you're doing and the passion was there but the desire to want to, to do it was probably wavering a bit so I decided that as soon as my career had been over there I was going to move back to Melbourne and get, get amongst my family and friends again which I've done so last year was just a, a sort of a year for me to rediscover my passion for, for football again after a, a few hard years in the system um, so I decided that I was just going to go play some local football and I knew Brody Holland was at Maribyrnong so I contacted him and, and we got down there and I had a fantastic year I really enjoyed it enjoyed it and that's one of the catalysts for me coming back and playing VFL is really getting that desire to, to want to play competitive football again. When I came back from Fremantle I moved in with uh, Cameron Wood because um, I've always been friends with him since Collingwood days and then uh, he obviously got picked up here at Carlton so I thought you know I'm, I'm close by so I'll give the local VFL team a, a call and you know, I've settled in really well I'm really enjoying it. Jack's been really good for us um, you know it was uh, a really Good honour to be able to have a guy who ring up and wanted to come down to VFL footy. Um, and to have a guy like Jack who's got uh, great AFL experience but also um, good life experiences to be able to come down and a mature guy to come down and help drive the standards that we want to have at the Northern Blues. And he's been terrific with us, his training standards and, and his level of professionalism that he's brought both on and off the field has been terrific for my group to be able to see what a guy who's been in the elite system, how to train, but also how to prepare himself for a game. It's been great, yeah, it's been good. I think one thing I've learned, certainly under Mick Moldhouse at Collingwood days and, and definitely under Ross, you know, they're, they're hard coaches and they're the best coaches in the AFL and um, they, they can really humble you very quickly. So for me, I've, I've just come down here and I've, I've just I've shut my mouth and I've, I've worked hard and, and hopefully that will um, that will turn into some quality football for, for both the club and personally. He is a competitive beast. Um, you know, his endurance, his strength and his ability to play in a number of positions has been really good for us so far. I, I love a contest. I, I, I want the contest um, and I've always prided myself on, on being competitive. Oh, you know, it's something that I don't think ever really leaves you, it just needs to be rediscovered. The stuff that I've seen from him so far in terms of um, his work rate and his work ethic down at the Northern Blues has been terrific and that's emulated with obviously the stuff that he's done at AFL. So, you know, a guy like him is a, is a, is a really good competitor and a strong competitor both in the air and on the ground and whether we played him forward or back, um, the stuff that we've been seeing are the things that we've seen at AFL land as well. There's more to football now, you know, now I'm out of the system, you know, I've got other aspirations and, and things that I want to achieve in life. So being able and giving giving time towards that's been great as well and it's sort of, it's, it's allowed me to train the brain in a different way. You can definitely see that he's really enjoying his footy at this point in time and, and obviously winning games of football is, is obviously the big thing that we're here to do. Everything's just falling into place at the moment and I've, I'm in control of my own destiny at the moment and, and I feel like it's, uh, it's, it's definitely going to a better place. I've always felt like when I left Collingwood there was some um, unfinished business with Mick and I think that hopefully over yeah, hopefully over the next couple of years, or certainly hopefully over this year, we can we can certainly uh, sit down, and have a chat, and see where things are going. But if it works out with Mick or somewhere else, you know, I'm not pitting my hopes anywhere. I'm just going to do my best.